and good morning everyone. I just opened the window to let some air in. It is such a beautiful and sunny morning. I actually was up until 3 a.m. last night and then woke up at 5. I was, it felt like I was awake the entire night basically. So I slept in a little more and now it's like 9, something like this. And the sun is up. It's so beautiful. It's been so gloomy. I feel like I talked about this so much, but the sun being up makes me so happy and I decided to make another day in my life video. So today I actually want to talk about something I get asked about a lot, which is how to clean, maintain, and care for vintage pieces. So we're going to talk about that, all about clothing, shoes, purses, different materials. And then I also just want to do a few other different things today and I figured I would just take you along. I also want to go through some of the pieces that I have as some of you might have heard there was a horrible earthquake on the border of Turkey to Syria and I really want to donate some of the clothes that I have and some warm winter pieces to them from the city where I live to the border. There's actually a truck driving there every single night. That's what the city organized to help the people there. So I really want to help out and just make sure that the people there get at least a little bit of help. I just feel like there is so much you can do. And so that's basically the plan of the day. I'm just going to go to the bathroom now, quickly wash my face and then make some breakfast. This side of the house actually isn't as sunny as the other side is, but it doesn't really matter because the only rooms with windows on this side are the bathroom and the kitchen, so I don't really mind. I quickly wanted to update you on my skincare. I now use this. Um, this is also certified nature cosmetics. It's natural ingredients only, and this is a rose cream. I actually got this, recommend it. By a friend and I really love it. I think it's such like it has such a nice smell and it really hydrates my face extremely well. I also have like a night cream. This is the day cream. I feel like for the longest time I only like used one product but now that I'm getting older. I mean I only just turned 24 but I just kind of like to take my time and just do a little something that makes me feel good in the morning. I also use an eye cream because my eyes are so dry lately. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it is because when I grew up in my parents' house and all the apartments I lived in, we actually moved a lot, like my parents and I, because they got a divorce while I was still pretty young and then both moved like a couple of times basically. But we always had floor heating and I feel like that's just not as harsh on the air as the drying that like a regular heater does. So I really want to add some bowls of water on top of my heater. I just feel like that'll be a good solution to stop the air from getting so dry. But that's basically all that I do. And now I'm just gonna go and make myself some breakfast. The sunshine so much it just gives me such a boost of life I also have some roses here my boyfriend actually brought these back home from work like a couple of days ago he picked them up like two days ago and they already 
are not looking that good. So if anyone knows anything about how to maintain roses, because I always cut them, I always make sure to put them in water, change the water, but they just seem to die pretty quickly lately. So if you have any tips, I would very much highly welcome you to share them with me. I'm just having breakfast now and then as said, I want to clean some of my clothes today and just talk about that in general because I always get questions on how to clean like leather pieces, how to store vintage pieces. So I figured I would just make a little sequence in this video all about that. I also want to edit a video that I filmed yesterday and that I want to upload today. So that's basically it. Lately I've been really much enjoying just listening to records, looking outside and having breakfast with that. As you know, this camera is still kind of new, so I'm still trying to figure out the settings because I feel like sometimes when the sun comes in and there's like different brightness factors in the frame, the camera doesn't really pick up the quality. Like the quality in me, like the quality immensely decreases, and I'm still working on figuring out why that is and trying different options and settings. But I quickly wanted to show you what I'm wearing this morning. Basically, I'm just wearing a little knitted dress, this beautiful embroidered kimono that I really love, and just some knee-high socks to keep me a little warm, and I'm gonna get editing the video from yesterday now. I can see you there from a mile I am done with editing now. It's actually already almost 12. It's like 11.30 now. This took me way longer than I originally thought, but to be honest, I just really love editing and I kind of want to make my videos fun to watch, so I like to invest some time in the editing. It's actually not that warm out today, but it's really beautiful and sunny, so I kind of want to wear something that reminds me of the sunshine. I found this Alice in Wonderland style dress in my closet. I've had this for a while, but I really love it and it still fits me really well. So I decided to go with this today and I need to show you something. I went thrifting on Monday. Let me get a little chair to sit down and talk to you real quick about this. I went thrifting on Monday and I found these incredible earrings. Like, aren't these such a dream come true? They're not an exact color match. They're from the 60s, these little dangly clip-on earrings. I have pierced ears, but obviously you can still wear a clip-on with pierced ears. And I just love how these look. So I feel like this might be a good look for today. And then I need to show you what my vanity and like makeup station looks like now. So this is what it looks like now. You have to open this and then in here, so my little vanity perfumes up here, everything makeup related down here, and then this is like the secret little compartment because it actually opens the other way around. So like you unlock it the other way around if that makes sense. I have more makeup in here. And then this is a product I have been trying lately and I want to talk to you about real quick. So I have been sent a makeup product to try which is the Macillo foundation. And I've tried this for the last couple of days and I just want to give you a little review and my thoughts on this product. So they all come in these little bottles. I got the lightest shade available, but I'm also very pale. They have a great selection of different skin tones and everything. So obviously this is cruelty free. You know that I really much care about this. And what I love about this is you, you know that I usually just use a tinted moisturizer, but sometimes I just want something that's a little more covering. And this says that it is full coverage, which I would totally agree, but it's not that sort of full coverage where you get a very masky looking face. So I feel like it still looks very natural, which is great for a 1960s look. So let's do my makeup with this. I really like the product because it is very easy to apply. I personally just put like a little bit on the back of my hand. You should always shake any foundation before using it. So I'm just gonna put one pump on here and then that's enough. So I feel like I will get a lot of use out of this. It'll last me a long time. So let's see, I hope I'm close enough so that you can see. So when you first apply it, it looks a lot. 
I feel like it looks like it's a very, very cakey look, but it's actually a matte foundation and I do a mixture of hand and brush applying. And I feel like if you like work it in really nicely, it just gives you the most gorgeous doll-like porcelain face. I think I talked about this before, how basically the 60s were all about a very clear skin look. I'm just gonna do one side of my face to just show you this. So this is the side that I've done. I really love how it looks. As I said, it's pretty light. It's very nice to be worn all day long. And I actually have a coat. They sent me these bottles to try. And if you want to try them, you can save a ton of money by using my code. And you will also support me because I will make a percentage of all the sales. So if you're interested in trying a new foundation that is a great quality product, cruelty free, and a great value for the price, make sure to check out Massilio. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box for you. Just let me know what you think. I feel like a lot of you know that I don't do a lot of sponsorships and I only do them if I really love the product, but that's just the case with this foundation. So make sure to check them out. This is what my skin looks like now that I fully applied it. I love it. As said, I think it makes a very light and natural look. I've worn this foundation a lot lately. I still don't wear makeup every single day, but if I do, I just really love this foundation. I feel like for my makeup today, I want to keep it really simple. I think I'm just going to do like a white eyeshadow, a cut crease, and a little bit of blush. That might not be the most exciting makeup, but it's just a classic. Oh, I just found an eyelash. I always blow them away and wish for something to do the same. <sighs> I think it's important. <laughs> I don't know. My battery died while I was getting ready, but this is the finished look. I just went with a very natural cut crease. And then also did a powder eyeliner using the same eyeshadow and just a very light and natural makeup look. If you want to see a tutorial for this, let me know. But I think I uploaded a short tutorial for this. So yeah, um, I'm now just going to pick out some rings and like accessories. But I feel like with this outfit, because the sleeves are so dreamy, I just want to do rings. Let's see, so I pretty much have all of my jewelry in here. Let's look at this. This holds pretty much all of my rings. Let's see, I feel like this one would be an option. It's missing a little bead, which is so sad, but I feel like it matches the outfit. Maybe I will find a bead someday that I can replace it with. Here. I have so many random rings. Oh, this one might also be cute. Let's see. Yeah, I'm also going to wear this little heart one. And because I talked about it last week, we actually ended up getting some plants. A little fern. This tiny guy right here. This one. Some of them over there. But we don't have enough pots for them, so they're still in like the plastic pots I bought them in. I'm going to go thrifting soon, get some pots, and then repot them. And decorate this because currently it's just stuff up there and not really decorated. So let's talk about how to take care of vintage clothes. So for this part of the video I decided not to actually include the cleaning and taking care of vintage video because this vlog would have been over an hour long and I just didn't want to overdo it. But the next video that I'm going to upload is a video all about how to take care of vintage clothes. It's basically the part that I cut out of the video right here. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into the cleaning and what you will see in that next video that is probably going up in a couple of days. I hope you're okay with me splitting the video, but I felt like an hour-long video was just a little too much. But if you're interested in learning how to clean, take care and maintain vintage pieces, that video will be up soon. I think the most... Hold up, that was my doorbell. Excuse me, I just had to run to the door real quick. It was the mail lady. We just have the nicest mail lady. She brought me something. I ordered something online. This is from Vinted. It's a vintage dress. So, so I will definitely show you this in a little bit. But let's first answer the question of how to take care of your vintage pieces. And then we're going to take a look inside of this. But 
it's so beautiful. I hope you can see. Oh, I love the crochet and the white. And what I love about crochet pieces currently is that they're a little stretchy. So this might still fit me now. So I'm still wearing the knee socks from this morning and then this dress. But let's quickly try on the one that I just got. This is the dress. I love it. I've been looking for a vintage crochet dress like this for such a long time. I mean, it still fits me really well. There's a lot of room. I might wear this just for the day because it's actually cleaned really nicely. Um, I, I love it. I just put a white little slip dress underneath. I honestly feel like with my hair now, I can go for so many Jane Birkin looks. And this dress is just so perfect for that. Oh, I can. It's such a cute dress. So glad that I got it. Just like the majority of beautiful vintage dresses, this obviously doesn't have any tags either, but it's so cute. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. This also wasn't that expensive. I think I, think I paid eight euros shipped, so that's a really good deal. So this dress was like, 650 maybe it's a great piece it's also in such a good condition i'm so glad that i got this i think i'm gonna keep wearing this for today because honestly that other dress is polyester which just isn't the most comfortable with my bump right now and i would usually not wear something that i just got without thoroughly cleaning it but this girl like she's a reseller i bought from before i know that she really thoroughly cleans her pieces so I feel like we're good with this one. If I keep wearing this, I kind of want to change my jewelry to something a little more bohemian. So let's just have a look. I think I'm going to go with these little earrings I recently thrifted. And then change my rings. I think this one would be really good. Let's put this here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. I think I'm just gonna keep this one and then just exchange the other one and do the earrings. Okay, I just changed the earrings and the rings. I very much prefer this and now I just want to do what I talked about earlier. Basically, having a, a new piece of cloth feels a little surreal because as you've probably heard, Earlier this week, there was a big earthquake on the border from Syria to Turkey and I want to do something to help with that. My boyfriend and I are still both in school. We don't make a lot of money, but you can actually help by donating clothes and food and just all of that. And it breaks my heart to think about these people that don't have anything right now. So I want to go through my closet, pick out some warm winter pieces because it is pretty cold there currently. They're looking for children's clothes, adult pieces, and then also shoes. I think they also take food, I'm not too sure about that. But either way, I'm just gonna go through my closet now, pick out some pieces, and then the donation center opens at five. They're open from five to 7 p.m. every day. And then during the night, the truck drives down to the border and brings the things there. To those of you who aren't that familiar with European geographics, basically that border from Turkey to Syria is about a 50 hour drive from where I live so it's not even that far to be honest in Germany we don't really have earthquakes we had one last year and that was very surprising it wasn't bad at all it just was a little shaky but yes that's just an area where they currently need help and I want to do something welcome to my living room floor I just went through my things and I'm gonna pack a bag now I actually found two pairs of boots, which I think are helpful right now. These are all still in great condition, so someone can get some wear out of it. I don't want to show everything that I'm donating because it doesn't matter how much you're donating. It's not about that. I'm not showing this so that people think I'm a good person. I just take you through my day and this is what I'm doing today. I just honestly think it's important to help if you have any option to do that. I think I'm going to put some links down below if you want to help. I'm sure there's something for everyone so that you can help out too. I just talked to my boyfriend and told him that I want to drive there tonight. And he said that when he comes home from work, he wants to go through his things and just donate some more pieces. So I'm going to leave that bag here. And then we're going to drive over there later tonight. It's actually almost half past two now. I 
feel like this day has gone by so quickly but usually I'm up three hours earlier than I am today but I really want to go out take a little walk in the sunshine I feel like that's what I'm gonna do now and then just make some lunch and have a little midday break this is my going out outfit I just added some black tights suede boots I would love to wear a suede jacket with this but they don't really fit me anymore so I'm gonna go with this one also some sunglasses because it's so nice and sunny out so let's go on a walk I should wait Honestly, there is something about going on walks that just makes my mental health so much better. I get such a endorphin boost out of doing this. It's also pretty cold still, but so sunny. But yeah, that's why everything is still covered in snow. It's a beautiful day out. I am back home now. Oh, I'm still wearing some glasses, never mind. I just made myself some lunch. I am actually not that hungry today, so I just made myself some salad. I love this bowl, it's like the perfect size. And I just made like some yogurt dressing to go with it. This also has tomatoes and cucumbers, basically my favorite veggies. And I feel it. And while I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna upload my YouTube video, which will then be live tonight. So. I'm going to do that and then later I need to measure this cupboard that I have because I want to build my own changing table and the nursery. I want to get started on that next week and to do that I need to get some wood and I will get that at the hardware store later tonight when we're leaving to go drop off the donations and so I just need the measurements basically. I think I'm gonna make a video when I build it but basically I looked for a changing table for quite a while and honestly just hated everything that I found all of them were just white and plain and really modern and didn't really fit our interior so I'm just gonna build my own I'm planning to do that in the beginning of next week so we're gonna go to the hardware store tonight and then this weekend we're gonna see my boyfriend's parents. We're going over there every Sunday and we're just gonna borrow all the supplies that we need, like the saw and the drill and everything. And then next week, I really wanna get started on building the nursery or like the nursery area because we're not gonna have a dedicated room to the baby. We only have a two bedroom apartment, but I feel like the baby won't mind. We're just gonna move when the baby gets older, but for now that's going to be fine. And uh, I actually have the most beautiful little crib that my boyfriend's grandma got for his mother. So it's just the most beautiful thing from the late 60s. His mom was born in 1970 so I feel like that's really cool and I'm gonna build that next week and just set it all up but as I said I'm gonna take you along but for now I'm just gonna have this lunch hello and good morning everyone it actually is the next day I didn't film anymore yesterday and there were actually a few reasons for that but I really wanted to end this video and just tell you what I did how I spent and just quickly catch you up on what happened last night. So basically, we went to the donation center and it was really good. I didn't want it to film there because I felt like, because I didn't know if the people there felt comfortable with doing that and as said, I'm not doing this to show it online. I'm doing it because I really want to help, but I was really touched. On our way to the donation center in the car, we listened to the radio and and they said that the number of deaths has now risen above 20,000 which honestly just made me so emotional I cried a lot last night to be honest but I just couldn't believe that but when we went there I was so happy to see how many people were helping out like, there were obviously like paramedics and everything there loading the trucks and then there were also just like a lot of people helping out and the guy even told us that they were originally planning on doing one truck each day but it's so much that people are donating that they now upgraded it to two trucks which I think is really good to see that people 
are coming together in times like this. But after that, we went to the hardware store. We bought all the wood that we needed. That was actually really good and pretty easy. I honestly love to go to the hardware store later in the day or earlier in the day when it's just not that busy. And then we came back home and the last days have been a lot, like there just was a lot going on in my life, my boyfriend's life, our life together. There was just so much that we needed to take care of that we just spent the night together talking, catching up and that was actually really beautiful. But at the end, but in the end I was so tired that I just wanted to go to bed. And so I just decided not to film any further, but that's basically the video. It's 8.30 now, the sun is currently rising, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna spend the day editing this video and then go out again because the weather is just so beautiful lately. But I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope you can find some time to go out and enjoy the sunshine today. Spin a record that you love, light a candle, and I will catch you in the next